Hi everyone, this is James from Titan Drones. Today we're gonna to be modifying the Mavic Air remote controller for use with our systems. For this job, you're gonna need a few tools. We recommend a pair of needle nose pliers, a number zero Phillips head, a T6 Torx screwdriver, um, a pair of long nose tweezers, and various nylon removal tools. And as always, we recommend anti-static measures when you're messing with sensitive electronics. All right, let's begin by taking our T6 Torx screwdriver and removing the two screw caps. Right, and you can pop these caps off. Now if you're familiar with the Mavic or Spark modification, you're gonna do the same thing and you're gonna pry up the bottom plate. This one seems to be a lot easier than the Mavic and Spark, or at least the Mavic. use your uh, number zero Phillips and unscrew the two Phillips screws that are holding the clamshell together. All right, now you're gonna unplug your two joystick connectors. There's one on each side. One thing to note is it looks like they went with mechanical joysticks. Okay, now you're ready to separate the two halves. We recommend holding onto the, um, the foot right here that folds out to hold your tablet or phone and then just pulling apart. It's as easy as that. All right, now you're gonna remove the header cover. There's two screws. And that just pops out like so. Now we're gonna remove the six screws that are securing down the keyboard. All right, now just remove the keyboard. Set that aside in a safe place. Now we're gonna remove the four screws using our number zero Phillips head. Uh, these are the screws that are holding down the battery assembly bracket.
Now we're going to remove this connector here. Now it's time to remove the bracket assembly. And just set that aside. Now inside here looks somewhat similar to the Maverick or the Spark, but it's got a few differences. All right, now we're gonna remove the uh, two connectors on the left side here. And the way you do that is you hold on to where the cable meets the connector. All right, and you Jiggle from side to side by pulling up gently, just like that. You want to try and obviously keep that intact. So take your time on this part. And the same with the other one. There you go. Now we're gonna remove the factory antennas. In order to do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna depress on the factory tabs uh, with needle nose pliers um, on the, at the two points shown there, um, and then pull out while you're depressing those with pliers. They come out just like that. If you use this method, obviously you can retain these if you ever want to go back to stock for any reason. Now you're going to take your mod kit and you're going to unscrew the nut, take off the washer, it's not needed, encapsulate the head of the QMA with our proprietary QMA adapters. And you can take the nut and refasten it. Just by hand is fine for now. And you'll do the same thing with the other cable as well. Now that you got your cables prepped, you can go ahead and feed them into the RC. You're just gonna push these through the factory antenna hole and snap them in. There is a little uh, key on the top of them, a little notch. You just wanna make sure that that notch is lined up with the, uh, the key in the top of the RC. That's what you're looking for there. On the right side, we recommend routing the cable like so. And the same right. thing with in this one. Let's go ahead and route like this. All right, now you're gonna take your uh, battery bracket assembly and put it back in its original place. And then secure it with the four screws.
Now you want to reconnect the connector on the right side. Notice that uh, this piece comes off of the keyboard when you remove it. You want to put that back on and you're just going to hold it in place on the end there and then slide the keyboard back in its position starting with that left side. And what that does is that just makes a nice finish on that connector. And then you're going to reattach the six screws that secured the keyboard. This is done with your number zero Phillips head. Now we recommend using a hand screwdriver. We have this torqued specifically for this. There you go. All right, now it's time to reinstall the keyboard flat cable. Basically that just pushes down on top of the header and then it's secured with the metal plate that you saw earlier. These are some little screws, so just take your time. All right, now we're gonna reinstall the top cover. A couple things you wanna make sure is that these connectors are out of the way. You don't wanna pinch them uh, when you squeeze the uh, two sides back together. And then also notice your sports mode switch right here. You wanna make sure that that is in the same position as the switch on the board there. So if, if you have this all the way to the right in sports mode, make sure that switch is all the way to the right and vice versa. And then you can reinstall. Just make sure that everything's seated back together around the perimeter. Now you can reinstall your two cables. Make sure your switch works. All right, now I've passed in the um, two screws that hold the clamshell together. This is done with your number zero Phillips head. All right, now let's reinstall the bottom plate. This simply snaps into place. OK, 
appears DJI made this one a lot easier than the original Mavic controller. So thank you. And then once that's in place, you can uh, reinstall the screw caps. One goes on each arm. And then this gets secured with your T6 Torx screwdriver. Last step is to install our T-lock bracket. Just remove the two nuts on top of your QMA adapters. And then you're just gonna use the nuts to hold that bracket down. and you're done. Um, now you can basically interface with all of our antenna systems and ground stations. This is James from Titan Drones. This was the modification instructional video on the Mavic Air RC.